Welcome back. You're watching Talk of the Town. Now, music lovers in Madison, you'll want to listen up next. Joining me, I have Hannah John Taylor, who's the owner of Cafe Coda, and has brought along Emma Dellinger. Dellinger? Dellinger, the general manager. Thanks for joining me today, Thanks folks. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. All right. Cafe Coda, tell us about it. Well, Cafe Coda is uh, an initiative that uh, I and a number of supporters have undertaken to um, establish a jazz venue in Madison, Wisconsin. I've lived here for 25 years, and I remember when I first came to Madison, there was actually quite a scene here. But since then, we have had uh, the loss of a number of clubs and, and also lost a number of um, members of the jazz community because there was no place to play. Why do you think we've lost some clubs over the past years? Well, I think it's just a, uh, a fact of the times. I think that technology has given us a different type of appreciation for live music. Hmm. But I also think that every 27 years there's this thing called the Saturn Return, <laughs> where we rediscover uh, all that we have maybe missed and forgotten. And I believe that this is the time for a jazz venue to reemerge in Madison. And some people think they found something new and fabulous. <laughs> yeah, and we hope that it will be uh, a great um, addition to the uh, artistic environment of the community. Okay, and you, you're using the word will. So I is it open yet? It is open on September 8th. Coming soon. But you're right. I guess I shouldn't use the word will because we're, we're just apprehensions of such success. <laughs> We've had so much um, success and, uh, and encouragement from the community. Mm -hmm. And so when, when I say we've had success before, this is our second uh, incarnation. We were located at 122 Dayton Street uh, up until about a year ago when the building was... Um, was commandeered for development, let's say. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's a nice way of putting it, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah. Huh? All right. And, uh, and so now you're reincarnating into Cafe Coda, which you said will be opening in just a, a week or two. Just a few days. Just a few yeah. days. All right. Would you like to elaborate on why you think having a jazz venue is so valuable to Madison? I feel like it's a perfect fit, actually. It seems very fitting to Madison. Well, I'm glad that we agree. <laughs> I think that... Madison is realizing itself uh, as a progressive community. And a progressive community must have um, a suitable representation of American art forms. Jazz music is the most authentic American art form. And so it all stands to reason that in a progressive community, you need this representation uh, as well as this venue uh, to maintain our knowledge and our appreciation for something that is truly American. I have an opportunity to travel overseas most years, uh, and I can tell you that many of the young people uh, in the, these foreign countries know more about jazz music than our young people. Oh, shame on us. Well, <laughs> there's a reason for that. Okay, and so w what we're hoping is that Cafe Coda will, um, will fill in a space that has been uh, sorely vacant for a while. Emma, you're the general manager of Cafe Coda. How and why did you get involved? Well, I met Hannah some years ago um, when I was working at the Cardinal Bar. I remember no that. No longer. Um, and I had a great experience with the jazz community, great relationships with the musicians. Um, so when Hannah started dreaming up this project, he asked if I would like to be involved and absolutely thrilled to, but I recognized the need to sort of bridge some generational gaps, make um, a really kind of old school jazz club vibe come alive in 2018 and beyond. Mm -hmm. So we want it to be a really inclusive space, doesn't matter who you are or where you're from, you're welcome to come appreciate the music and maybe enjoy a great cocktail while you're there, too. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. We have just about 30 seconds left. Do you have a, a grand opening or something special oh, planned? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. She didn't even hesitate. Yes. Can we find out more online? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have an active Facebook page. We're putting out a brand new website as well that will launch this week, cafecoda.club. And 
you can check out any of the events on the Facebook page. Some of our events will have pre-sale tickets you can order ahead of time, find out about drink specials, more about the musicians, and really engage with the club through through the, our online presence as well. Sounds great. And yeah. our grand so opening is September going 8th. to feature, mm -hmm. September 8th is going to feature um, a great pianist, Alexis Lumbry and her trio. Uh, she is a, a young woman. I don't think she's 30 years old yet, no. but she is an international star already, and we're just going to be so happy to have her. What uh, a great way to start it off. Yeah. yeah. And we are out of time, folks. It goes so fast. Yes. Good luck with your opening. Thank well, you. Thank you Hope so to much see you for there. having us. Okay. Hope to see you. All right. Thank we have you. more Talk of the Town coming for you right after this. Power to the people.